The thing about this house is from the outside, it doesn't really look that bad. But the minute you walk inside, yikes, you realize it's not really a house at all. It's a couple of walls that look like they used to be a house, but you can't have your kids live in that. Okay, Michael, Paige, Eduardo, Ed, Polly, and Dee Dee. Man, I'll tell you what, we got a packed bus, and it is going through Montgomery County in Maryland. All right. And we're on our way to meet the biggest family we've ever helped. Seriously, we're talking 15 people here. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Meet the Jackson family. The mom, Felicia, four years ago made a very important promise and immediately went from being married with four kids to a single mom with 14. And the thing is, she's been doing everything she can to keep this family together, but she's in jeopardy of them breaking apart if we don't step in and do something. Take a look at this tape and you'll see why we're here. Hi, ABC! We're the Jackson family! Hello, ABC. It's me, Felicia, and I want you to meet my family. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm 17. Hi, my name is Keith, I'm 16. Hi, my name is Diaz, I'm 16. Hey, I'm Jelly, I'm 14. Hi, I'm Taisha, I'm 13. Hi, I'm Dion, I'm 3 and I'm 12. Hi, my name is Kiyashi, and I'm 11. Hi, my name is Dion, and I'm 10. Hi, my name is Tanika, and I'm 9. My name is Kiyashi, I'm 8. Hi, my name is Tanika, and I'm 8. Hi, my name is Demetrius, and I'm 6. Hi, my name is Takiya, and I'm 6. Hi, my name is Kiyashi, and I'm 5. Hi, my name is Kiyashi, and I'm 5. Hi, my name is Kiyashi, and I'm 4. Felicia and her younger sister, Cassandra, were especially close. They were only two years apart, and they wanted to spend all their time together. We did everything together. We shopped together, we went to school together. Every holiday we spent together. We even started having children around the same time. In 1990, Felicia and her husband had their first daughter, Rachel. And just one year later, Cassandra had her first son, D'Angelo. Over the next 13 years, Cassandra had nine more children, and Felicia had three more of her own. They definitely had their hands full, but were excited and wanted all their kids to grow up together. Then, both sisters had to face the worst news together. In November 2003, Cassandra was diagnosed with cervical cancer and was given less than a year to live. My sister was pregnant, and when she went to deliver her baby, they discovered cancer. She started chemotherapy three times a week. Within two weeks, it went up to spreading really quickly. For the next 10 months, Cassandra fought for her life. But ultimately, she couldn't hold on, and she passed away in August of 2004. She was talking to us, and then we, and then she stopped talking for me, and they were like, Uncle Sandra, Uncle Sandra. And then they said that she had died, and that made us real sad. Now, the only good news is that Montgomery County has deeded them a house. The bad news is that the house is unlivable. I'm Eric Kuhn, a special ed teacher in Montgomery County, Maryland. Montgomery County Housing Commission has found a piece of property. It needs major work. It's really unlivable at this point for 14 kids and a mother. But we need ABC to come, take that place down, and build it up to what really needs to be a perfect house for Felicia, who's trying to do her best as a, as a mother. The really remarkable part is, is that Cassandra's gravesite is actually right across the street. She's like my best friend. She was my best friend. She keeps me going. That's the only thing that keeps me going. It's her spirit. Felicia is doing her best right now, but if she doesn't fix her living situation soon, the kids will be split up and they'll be put in the foster care system. I'm gonna lose my kids. I already know it. Wow. That's heavy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I can't believe that she can actually do what she's doing. The fact that she's made it this far is amazing. And the fear of, of that family breaking apart is real. We can change this. We can help Felicia keep her promise to those kids yes. and keep this family together. So what do you say? Can we do this? People, let's make it happen. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then let's do it! <laughs>
I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I, I honestly, I don't know how you haven't done this every single day, but I know all these kids have been relying on you and you alone, and that's, uh, that's just too much for anybody. Felicia is such an amazing woman because four years ago she made a promise to her sister before she passed away that she would take care of her kids and she's never turned her back on these kids. She has fought day after day to keep this family together and she's kept her promise. So this week, we're making a promise to her and her family. Our promise is that we are gonna build this family a home, keep them under one roof and finally give this family what they deserve. I tell you what, man, this week is gonna be kinda huge. We're gonna rally some people in this community and uh, we're gonna get you guys in a house. Woo! That sound like a good idea? Yeah. Mom, what do you say we say hi to Eric? And uh, I tell you what, he is fantastic and hopefully he'll show us around thank the house. Thank you. Hey, Lisa, congratulations. Thanks. Hey, man, I just wanna say thank you so much thank for you. doing this. Cool. And uh, yeah, show me around. Let Let's see what you. needs to be done around here. Uh, let me show you the house. It's got, uh, this is the front foyer that needs some immediate repair yeah, right away. Yeah, see that. In fact, the hot water tank. Uh, oh, that's not a good, good sign at all. Uh, okay. And the drywall wow. right here. The drywall is coming down. The door frame. And then as we come into the kitchen, this is the kitchen. Uh, if you look around, we've got water damage here. Oh yeah, you can see. And uh, if you look up here, we got some ceiling da damage. Uh, yeah, it's a little, to say the least. Wow. The thing about this house is, from the outside, it doesn't really look that bad. But the minute you walk inside, yikes, you realize it's not really a house at all. It's a couple of walls that look like they used to be a house, but you can't have your kids live in that. I think the really frustrating thing for Felicia is knowing that it's a gift to her, but she can't even really open it because it's unlivable. Hey, hey. fantastic and check out the outside these guys are doing a rocking job it's day four and we're actually ready to cover and facade the front of the house with this all the houses in Maryland this is what you see good old American red brick this is exciting because they finally have their own home they're not staying in a hotel anymore and they've got their own spaces this is the youngest boys room paul's working on that room we got a bathroom over here we got the uh, oldest boys room over here we got ed working on here we got the youngest girls here Dee Dee's working on that and we got this room right here it's the oldest girls which i'm working on finally this family has their own space and they can be together very happy that we were going to see our house and that we even had one. I thought it was just a dream. I was very nervous. <laughs> very nervous and happy. bus moved, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. Every day of my life in the past four years, I was wondering if I'd ever be able to have a home or live in a home. When I seen that house, I just, wow, I can finally cry, I can finally be happy. I can, you know, see some smiles on my kid's face. It was like a weight lifted off of me. When we 
went inside and we saw the beautiful house. We um, we was in tears and everything. When we lived in a hotel, we had to be in three different rooms. Now we all can be together. We don't have to worry about being separated. We can all be together at all times now. That That's a really special day that I would never forget. When I first went into my room, it was like, this is my room. Before, at the hotel, I shared the room with five little kids. I couldn't just go in the hotel room and shut the door by myself and not worry what's going on. Now I knew everything was all right behind that door. It was really wonderful seeing those promises across the bed. I promised to do better in school. I promise to love you. I promise to make something out of my life. 